global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. In no distant time, the Lega tussle will begin between Peter O.B., Balama Tinobu, Atuka Babaka, Labour Party, PDP, APC. And in all of this, they are trying to find out who will eventually lead Nigeria come May the 29, 2023. Of course, there's been a call for interim government simply because they do not want Peter, B, uh, sorry, they do not want Balama Tinobu to be sworn in before the legal tussle. But now, there's quite a lot of drama right now playing out. Judging the fact that Abola Matinubu have made strong statement over his mandate, very strong statement about his vice mandate, and of course, uh, there seem to be similar situation that has taken place in the time past, where even the present day CGN was the one that handled the case. Now the question is, I do not know how this will play out, but I can assure you. This is definitely an interesting moment to be a Nigerian. I also feel the pause of legal uh, legal luminaries. Well, before we go into the news, proper kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you say about notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Okay, let's start with what Bala Metudubu said to Nigerians and what happened, similar situation, where the president, the CJN, ruled the case. Let's find out in a moment. Well, Nigerian president Bola Ahmed Tunubu has stated that there is, there's no exclusive obligation that a candidate must call 25% in the federal capital territory to the returning to, to be the retained or uh, returned president in an election. Tunubu made his position known in a pre preliminary objection he filed against the petition by the Labour Party LP and its presidential candidate Peter Obi at the presidential election petition tribunal in Abuja, seeking the dismissal of the petition for failing to disclose any cause of action while Labour Party and other parties challenging the outcome of the February 25th presidential election have contended that APC and Tinubu did not secure the 25 percent of the total vote cast in FCT as mandatorily required in section 134 subsection 2 subsection b of the constitution of Nigeria and was therefore ineligible to be declared what Tinubu said Tinubu's legal team, led by Wale Olanikpaku, senior advocate of Nigeria, San, argued that the Nigerian election is not based on the Electoral College as it particularly relates to the FCT, adding that the residents are not super voters conferred with any privilege or advantage that, that, that is not accorded to citizens of Nigeria of other communities, ethnic groups, and places of origin. Olani Pekun further noted that the territory was created by adjusting the boundaries and exercise, exercising land from the neighboring states of Kwara, Niger, Plateau, and Kaduna State, and so on. He said, and I quote him, the petitioners themselves agree in their paragraph 25 that Nigeria is one single constitu constituency for the purpose of the presidential election. Thus, no part of that single constituency is superior to the other or carries a special status, required a minimum threshold of vote not man mandated in others. Now, that's what Tinubu and his legal team are saying literally about the 25 percent don't forget that that's part of the petition filed prayers filed by peter b and his lawyers that this is the verdict that happened some years back and presided by the present day cgn but the judgment which was delivered in the case of muhammad abacha versus the federal republic of nigeria by the current chief justice of nigeria cgn justice ulukayo de ariwala while serving as Supreme Court Justice, declared that forfeiture means the loss of a right, privilege, or property because of a crime. The word forfeiture means the divestiture, the, the divestiture of property without compensation, the loss of a right, privilege, or property because of a crime, breach of obligation, or neglect of duty, Justice Ariwala held a majority decision. He noted that any person who has forfeited property on the basis of a crime cannot be entitled to indemnity. A. Adding that forfeiture is a form of punishment and that there is no indemnity in Nigerian criminal procedure. I. <laughs> While many legal... Uh, experts have argued that the Tunubu's case is quite different from that of Mohamed Abacha. 
Other stated that the peculiarities of the case would need the court to determine if the U.S. court ruling has relevance in Nigeria. Though the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, did not include the Chicago drug case in their petition challenging the declaration of Tinubu as president elect, the party's presidential campaign council had in general threatened to drag Tinubu to court. The party's campaign council had argued that he should not participate in the February 25th presidential election on the premise of an alleged criminal case of trafficking in drugs that led to his subsequent forfeiture of the sum of whooping sum of 460,000 US dollars to the US authorities. The spokesperson of the Atiku Okowa Campaign Council organization, Mr. Kola Olagbondinya, who spoke in Abuja, had expressed the determination of the campaign council to file for an accelerated hearing in the case in the interest of the nation. According to him, Nigerian's law do not permit an alleged con convict, let alone an individual convicted on account of international crime or trafficking in any form, to stand election at any level, adding that Nigeria cannot afford the embarrassment of having an alleged convict hold office at any level. He added that the campaign council would ask the court to declare Tunubu the presidential candidate of APC, having been allegedly convicted as ineligible to contest the presidential election under section 137, subsection 1D of the 1999 constitution. Compelled the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to immediately delist Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu as the presidential candidate of APC or any other political party for that matter that expunge and expunge his name from all materials documents related to the 2023 presidential election. For the avoidance of doubt, the United States Court in sentencing Tinubu's order ordered that the funds in the amount of 460,000 US dollars in the name of Tinubu represent proceeds of alleged crime or were involved in financial transaction in violation of 18 USC um, S. 1956 and 1957 and therefore these funds are forfeited to the united states pursuant to 21 usc s881 subsection a6 and 18 usc s981 from the declaration of the court and the sentence it is clear that tunubu was summarily convicted by the court took no step to challenge the judgment but decided and acceded to the forfeiture of the 460,000 us dollars Found to be the process of what he did. Ola Nukpeku, Ola Gbodinya, rather, Ola Gbodinya further noted that Nigeria is a signatory to such international conventions and therefore is mandatorily obligated to implement the consequential effect of the conviction imposed on Tunibu by court of competent jurisdiction in the criminal case he had. The import of the foregoing is that under the 1999 constitution as amended, having been so convicted and fined and having acceded to the sentencing by way of a feature of 460,000 US dollars and have not received any state pardon or acquitted by any court of competent jurisdiction, as you are Tunibu remains a convict and consequently effect consequential effect is that he cannot contest the election at any level in nigeria the effect is that the listing of the name of bola tunubu who stand allegedly convicted by a court of competent jurisdiction on the ballot for 2023 uh, presidential election is by virtue of section 137 subsection 1d of the 1999 constitution as amended fundamentally illegal invalid and must be expunged immediately he further explained but responding to the pdp campaign council press conference the spokesperson for apc presidential campaign council festus kayamo has described the article of co-work organization as a body that was deficient in ideas and originality he noted that until its APC counterpart took Atiku to court for alleged confession to have fraudulently helped himself to state resources while serving as vice president, the PDP campaign council did not know the road to court. He said, and I quote, Why did they wait all this month until we filed before they now are now rushing to court? I challenged them more than two months ago, yet they did nothing. It shows a team that is lacking in originality, lacking in ideas, and lacking in vision. It is just an attempt to create a counter suit to, to our own. Unfortunately for them, Nigerians have seen through them already. Their special 
purpose vehicles advocates that are trying to turn the tides of public opinion nigerians have decided nigerians have rejected them this is so laughable that nigerians are beginning to see that these are rem remorseless people lepers that cannot change their skin what enables true traducers have argue that his victory will be upturned by the courts his supporters think otherwise given the fact that he has never been convicted by any court anywhere to warrant his disqualification from occupying elective offices however no matter the outcome of ob's petition in the election tribunal and the final decision on his petition will put the issue of tunables for future of 460,000 us dollars to rest permanently now this is what may likely play out in the election in the uh, ju judicial uh, judicial tussle that may be going that will start very soon now we now understand that with what said cgn said previously before tinubu came into the picture now he said that means there's no indemnity as in i don't know how they are going to play around this because this law is law everywhere but now they're now saying that the the one of Muhammad uh, this thing is different from the from Bola Ahmed to the Muslim. I wonder which one is different. But whatever the case is, let's put it in our conversation. What's your take?